Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and here we are, we're finally inside the Temple of Wind. So, as Silly is saying that, uh, well, we're not really going to be able to avoid these guest jars because they're also inside of the temple, so that's just great. But as you can tell, they blow in a specific pattern unlike the ones that were outside of this temple where you actually had to activate a switch to stop them. So, yeah, we're able to cross by easily by just waiting for them to stop blowing the really heavy current of wind. But anyways, once we make it here, we'll find a bomb flower if you go ahead and throw it on the other side. I kind of failed that. We're going to have to wait for it to respawn. So don't worry, they come back. But go ahead and throw over here on this tile. And once you do that, it will explode and have the line of bombs explode, which will hit the switches at the same time. And it will activate these bridges. So that's basically what we want to do to advance. And yeah, let's continue on. So this temple is going to have a lot of those gust jars. You can actually see them on the map, like blowing and everything, like all over here and stuff. So yeah, some of them blow in a pattern, some of them just continuously blow. So no matter what, there's going to be a certain puzzle to actually get around it. So the first one here is you just got to push this gigantic block in front of it. And that will stop it. And then this one, you just want to hit the switch. So really easy, really simple stuff. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a heart. Yes, I did. Okay, I need that heart because I was low on hearts. Not really. And as you can tell, this is kind of like the next area that you want to make it to down here. But you actually can't jump down this uh, bridge or this walkway, which I find weird. Uh, but if you did, you'd basically skip all of this. So I guess it's understandable why they don't let you. But anywho, there's a good thing for actually heading through this long path. And the reason, and the thing is, is this right here. If you're going to step on the switch, it will have a small shortcut. So now we can just, when we enter the temple, we can enter through here instead of walk all the way around this. So yeah, I'm scribbling on my map a lot, but I don't care. <laughs> And also, you could tell, um, if you couldn't tell, actually, the, the boss door is right here, so we're, we're, like, you know, thrown in front of it, but we can't really access it until we really get around the whole temple and explore it and get certain items and, and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and run, a, run across this without getting blown off, which shouldn't be too hard. I gotta pay attention to the pattern of the uh, gust jars and stuff, but whatever. Anyways, if we enter here... We'll fight some enemies! Oh no! Uh, not too hard though, you can easily just whack them with your sword, but there we go. And yeah, let's continue on. And I'm not going to erase what I've done on my map, even though we're going to come back to this room uh, a couple more times. I'm just going to keep it like that, so yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of rupees here, which is pretty nice. I like how they just give you rupees throughout the temple. Uh, there is no, you know, type of trap or anything you have to worry about. You just go ahead and pick them up easily, and if you kill these snakes... We'll be good to go. I just want to kill them. You don't have to kill these ones. The tail's not blocking anything. You're not going to get any certain reward. But I just want to kill them because I can. And, um, so there's the boss door. Obviously, you're going to need the key, and you're going to explode these rocks that are blocking the door. So, yeah, it's it's not really that easy to actually head inside. And the boss key is actually right here. So, the boss key is here, and the boss door is there. So, if you had access to this and knew how to explode these rocks, we'll be able to you know, rush in the boss door, but obviously we don't have access to either of those, so that's the whole point of, you know, exploring throughout the whole temple. Anyways, this gust jar here can actually be pushed. It's not attached to the wall or anything, so you can easily push it, push it to one of these, and then I believe, let's see what this guy's stone has to say, I believe this is you can tell how many chests are in this room. Let's see, there's only one chest in this room, and I kind of showed it off, and it was the boss key, because the boss key is a chest, of course. So, yeah, this this gossip stone is useless. But they always have them in every single floor, because you don't get compasses or dungeon maps. Actually, you technically already have the dungeon map. You don't get a compass to see where uh, everything else is. So, that's why they put the gossip stones instead. Which I find pretty interesting. I actually like this... Uh, type of thing, and I kind of like how they you automatically have the dungeon map, I think that's how it should be in every other Zelda game, and they, they have done it in a, uh, a Link Between Worlds as well, so yeah, I believe you only get the compass, which is pretty cool, but anywho, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, once you have this gust blower here, this gust jar on one of these, uh, tiles, if you go ahead and run like this, you can easily jump. Uh, yeah, a gigantic leap of faith to the other side. So that's basically what you wanted to do. And let's continue on. So this creates another shortcut. Uh, so you can easily skip all of this <laughs> by um, 
by heading through here now because you know the exit the temples right here or the entrance I guess you could say and you can just head up here and head down normally all of these these small shortcuts they're putting are useless because you'll never have to head back to the temple once you complete it but I guess it's understandable because let's say you did forget something important in the temple um, you might actually need these shortcuts so you don't have to like walk through the whole thing again but yeah anyways there are these choo choos with rocks on them which is pretty cool to different type of enemy it's basically like you know armor choo choos I guess you could say so you throw um, bombs on them to explode the rocks that are on them and then once you do that you can easily attack them like a normal choo choo and yeah once we do that we can advance on and so forth and stuff like that so pretty good so far anyways let's gonna grab this I just find it ironic how this is a temple of wind and there's a wind temple in the wind waker and they like switch the name a little bit so it doesn't you know, sound the same, which it's still just a mix up of words. Temple of Wind, Wind Temple, yeah. <laughs> but it's not similar in any sort of way, because here you have like gust blowers, and in the Wind Temple, in the Wind Waker, it was a gigantic fan in the middle. But it made more sense in the Wind Waker because it utilized the Wind Waker itself. So yeah, you kind of needed that, and you had certain items that let you, like, you know utilize the wind as well but um and this game is just really just gust blowing because this is phantom hourglass guys it's, it's a different game but i just find it cool i don't know that being a sequel and all but anyways i believe i killed all of these mini blends i wanted to do them for some reason but yeah i went ahead and stepped on the switch and i believe i activated the door that's over here and let's go ahead and read this sign so when the two wings flutter the door will swing wide what Okay, so I believe they're talking about these two. There are two things here that we don't have access to. So, yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll get into that. Actually, yeah, I believe they're there. Whatever. Um, anyway, so what we want to do here is head all the way over here. We're going to find a chest hiding. And this chest actually has some random treasure. We got the Ruta crown, but I believe you get a random treasure, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, there's actually a pretty important chest that's over here, which I believe we just want to jump through this and have these wind, uh, these strong currents of wind blow us all the way to this side. That will give us a courage gem, yeah! And that's pretty much all we needed. Now, we actually want to continue on throughout the temple. And to do that, so you don't actually head back to that platform where the chest was on, you actually want to move this block over here and that will stop this current so if you go ahead and jump up here you actually end up on the block and you can just easily jump down like so because there's this block right here that you can easily get on and you can just continue on like this so so far it's so good we're pretty much like halfway done with this temple this temple is actually relatively short believe it or not so yeah and i believe there are two important chests within this temple beside the item of the temple and the boss key and what I mean by that is like the courage gem I believe we can get a power gem within this temple as well so yeah anyways we're gonna need our shovel for this and first thing you want to do as you can tell there are these enemies that you know sense the the sound that you make when walking and, and they're gonna try to eat you up and stuff so we're gonna try to avoid them but if you go ahead and read this so uh, respect silence and tread lightly okay yes tread lightly guys <laughs> Basically, that's so you can avoid the enemies, but I don't really care. I like, you know, running around and having them chase me because I'm not afraid. But anyways, uh, when all the pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Okay, so basically what I want to do is X, pretty much just map out where the X's are. You don't have to be too precise because you'll figure out exactly where they are when you actually make it to the spot. So let's go ahead and, and run to our very first X that's on our map. And as you can tell, it's over here. So I eh, got to be careful. Okay. So what we want to do is go ahead and dig up this. Okay, I I got caught. It's okay. <laughs> I should tread lightly, guys, but I'm not because I'm a badass. But as you can tell, yeah, under it, there is a pillar of wind, I guess you could say. And, um, yeah, that activated a torch, and you have to activate all four of them. So we have to dig up every single one. And we got ourselves a power gem. Yeah, okay. So we got two spirit gems from this temple, which is pretty good. Let's go in and quickly hit this. Try not to get caught. Oh no, there are two following us. Sorry. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, we're good. As you can tell, these steps are different than the sand itself because it's not as deep. We're on like sandstone here, so we're safe because um, it's more solid than the sand itself, so they can't really surf under it, I guess you could say. Sort of safe. That's basically what I'm getting at, of course. Um, anyways. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on. What? Link didn't even try to, like, walk forward. Kind of weird. Sometimes it's unresponsive, and I'm pretty sure it's not my touch screen. It's just weird like that sometimes. But anywho, I, I believe we're good so far. And we'll just wait a couple more seconds while these guys try to chase us. Okay. And now, hurry, Link. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You got it. Oh, I got caught. Whatever. At least they don't chase us as soon as they, you know, swallow us and spit us up. Like, they give us a couple seconds, so... Yeah, kind of like resets, where the enemy isn't chasing you any longer, and you have a chance to do what you want or escape. Because it would be unfair if it stays there and it keeps trying to swallow you up. You'll die instantly if that happens. Anywho, uh, two of the doors open, just like so, and my headset is falling off, which kind of sucks. I find it funny how I'm actually wearing a headset. It's I don't need it, because... I have the actual like plug-in headphones to listen to the game audio, but I put on a headset just because I'm used to putting on a headset. I think it's mainly so I don't listen to my own voice, I guess you could say. So yeah, it kind of like noise cancels everything, which is pretty nice. So I can just talk loud and not notice it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, two doors open and it's this one and this one, and we wanna head inside of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head inside one of them. It doesn't matter which one you take, you just wanna head inside one of them. Don't worry, they're both kind of like similar areas. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So, let's go ahead and explode that wall with the bomb. And continue on through here. Uh, I don't need to hit this, because I think I know how many chests are in this room. I think there are no chests in this room, so now I'm curious. Because I don't think there are any, so let's see what uh, this Gossip Stone has to say. So, boy, yep, there are no chests in this room. Alright, so. Anyways, this is a can tell. There is this, uh, what's it called? Gus jar, if we go ahead and blow it to this fan, it will start moving, yeah! And we have to do the one for the opposite side, and believe it or not, the door that we opened in the other room, how we opened two of them when we only went through one, the other one will take us to the other side, so that's pretty much all we need to do, just quickly run our way back and um, go ahead and head inside the other door, which will be this one, because we already took on this door, so yeah! <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and run really quick, ah, okay, go, 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 Link, okay, we're good. Whew. I don't know, I, I still get scared, even though they only take like half a heart. Still kind of frightening, just knowing somebody's chasing you, you know? Even if it's in a video game, it's, it's frightening, guys, okay? So, that's just me, stop making fun of me, whatever. Eh. <laughs> Alright, so, anyways, here's another um, Gus Jar. Let's go ahead and do this. And now the two fans are blowing, and we're getting ourselves a small key that just falls from the ceiling. So thank you, ceiling, for the key set. Yes, thank you so much for the key. And now we can advance. So, we're gonna head back once again to that room. So you kind of have to head through this path several times. And once we head back to that room, there's another door that we haven't really explored, and the reason being is because, well, that one doesn't automatically open that one you actually need a key for and yeah there you go so we're gonna go ahead and open up this door with the key and get ourselves the item of the temple and that is the bombs yes we got 10 bombs in our bomb bag awesome now let's go ahead and equip it because we're gonna use it throughout the rest of this temple and yeah it's pretty nice um so you guys have the bombs now as you can tell we have this checked we have this checked and we have this checked um, and we, we go through here, so which area have we not explored yet? Yes, this one, so let's go ahead and make our way over there and really see what that area has to do with anything, really. So, if we go ahead and sprint over here, we'll find <gasps> a cracked wall. And you know what you do when you see cracked wall in Zelda games? You explode them, yes! It's a common Zelda thing, actually almost in any video game, but I think like Zelda really stapled it in my mind. <laughs> With, when you see cracked walls, I want to like break them or something. But yeah, um, you go ahead and use the bomb, throw it on the wind that's blowing, the current of wind, and it will actually float and explode. And yeah, it's pretty much the puzzle now. Now <laughs> you can pretty much tell how we're gonna make it to the boss door. We're gonna explode those um, giant rocks that are covering it by throwing bombs like this. And what you want to do is quickly run to the other side after you throw your bomb, because. It will explode and have the line of uh, bomb flowers, you know, go off and it'll hit the switch. And it's only after a short period of time. You actually could have heard the ticking if you don't go past this uh, door. 
So, yeah, that's why you want to run really fast. But the ticking stops as soon as you make it past, because the door will stay open since you already technically, like, beat the puzzle. Anyway, let's go ahead and read this. So, uh, blank faces hide, can hide truth, as well as blemish ones. Okay, so, I believe if we go ahead and do this, it's kind of telling us that, you know, all of these look the same, but this small tile is different than the rest of them. So if we throw a bomb, yes, it will create a path that we can continue through. So that's kind of like the puzzle. Um, kind of gives you like a small riddle, I guess you could say, that I didn't really bother reading. I, I looked at it for a second, but since I knew what to do on it, really bothered it. But that's kind of how you figure out if you don't know how to do it. When I first saw it, I'm like, why is there a tile here and there's no other tiles on the rest of the floor? Let's throw a bomb and it instantly worked. I'm like, oh, okay. Same for this room, but it's on the other side so it tries to be tricky but it's not <laughs> not really actually so let's go ahead and open up this and continue on and will you look at this guys we're back in this room with a bunch of scribbles on the map and if we go ahead and set a bomb here and here we need to activate these two switches so bam and that will allow us to get yes the boss key so here it is guys let's pick it up yeah we got the boss key it's super heavy okay now what we want to do is take it down here, throw it, throw a bomb up here, pick up this boss key, wait for it to explode, and we can continue on action inside the boss door. So we're pretty much done with this palace, all that's left is the boss. Um, and I said palace, I didn't mean that, I meant temple. I guess you could still consider it a palace, I'm just used to a link between worlds, so my bad, but yeah, I gotta get used to calling it temples or dungeons, because... You know, those are the names that were given in the beginning of the game, and, and kind of the ones that I was used to. I don't know why I sometimes head to Palace. I guess literally it's because I'll link to the past, and I'll link between worlds. Whatever. It's not really that big of a deal, what I call this. Okay, this house. This, you know, store. Yes, we're at the end of the store, and the store's boss is up ahead. So step into the blue light, and we can return back to the entrance of the temple, which I don't have to worry, or the store, rather, because this is a store, yes, it's a mall, you can go ahead and buy bombs, see, I got bombs, they're on clearance, we just went and got some for free, yeah, okay, this joke is terrible, um, let's go ahead and just continue on, guys, and get ready to take on <gasps> the boss, so as you can tell, the screen has changed, yes, uh, the top screen is actually used for, for actually seeing the boss, because the boss flies in the air, so, yeah, this is the bloated beast that can summon cyclones. Let's go ahead and do this, guys. So what we want to do is throw bombs into these cyclones. It will hit this gigantic octo-type beast, and we can easily hit it. And I love this feature, how it shows both of the screens. Like, it's just technically like a really long screen instead of having the map on the top screen. So, yeah, I think it's really neat. And basically, this is all you want to do is go ahead and try to attack him every time he falls when you hit him with a cyclone by throwing a bomb in it and stuff like that. And it's generally just super simple. This boss is actually really easy. And look at that! You can actually see the sky. It's just so nice. I really like this. Okay, anyways. He's going to start summoning cyclones. I guess this is like his phase two. And um, the easiest way to actually hit him is when he comes near one of his cyclones or one of these cyclones that automatically spawn so let's go ahead and keep attacking him eh, you can actually do the spin attack here you can really do anything you want um i don't really want to rush this boss fight honestly and the reason being is because how awesome the atmosphere is for this and how it kind of utilizes both screens instead of just having it a map you got you got you know the top screen actually being a part of the screen itself where you can see more things and and stuff like that so yeah he's gonna try to attack you like so by running into you but it's really simple and these cyclones start to despawn at times but once one comes near him you can easily go ahead and attack him uh he takes a couple hits as you can tell he's still not dead and we jabbed on him quite a bit but in due time my friends so let's go ahead and throw this and I think we're done this should be the final like phase yeah there we go he has been defeated everybody this octo garbage thing is gone <laughs> so and as you can tell yes so remember blaz uh the dark fire wizard that we took on in the temple of fire yeah how he disintegrated into this weird dust well it's actually sand and it's no ordinary sand it's the sand of ours and that is what osha's told us for our phantom hourglass this is what we need for phantom hourglass to actually get more time so we can you know head deeper within the temple of the ocean king so link basically takes out his uh phantom hourglass and 
Yes, it goes inside of it. And now we have more time in our Phantom Hourglass. So, yeah, we got it. <laughs> so we got uh, more sand for Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added. Wow, all of that sand only added two minutes. Not worth it, but whatever. <laughs> we need it, so I guess it's going to be helpful. And, of course, of course, guys, we're going to be saving another spirit. So we saved Leaf, the spirit of power, and now we're going to be saving this new one. I'm Neri, the Spirit of Wisdom. Thank you for slaying that vile monster. Now the seal has been broken and I'm free. Look, Link! This time it's the Spirit of Wisdom, Neri! We came all this way to seek your help. The Ocean King must be locked up somewhere too. The Spirit of Power is with you. Of course I'll help. The Spirit of Wisdom, Neri has joined your group. Find one more spirit to track down the ghost ship. And there we go, guys. So, we have done it. We have taken on the Temple of Wind and saved the spirit, Nairi or Neri. And, and yeah, let's go ahead and open up this chest and get ourselves a heart container, yeah! I also exit this temple, so it's pretty fun. Love the whole screen, you know, double screen thing. But we're going to have to go back to having the map on the top screen. And yeah, there we go, guys. So uh, I guess that does it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the next episode, we'll be continuing on with our great adventure. Uh, this let's play is really fun so far, and I'm really excited to continue on with this quest. Um... So yeah, I'm going to end off the episode here. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. Um, and yeah, I've been Zelda Master, and I'll catch you all in the next one. So, goodbye.